Hello, hello. This is um, a video of the beta where I run around the... What is it anyway? The Jade Forest. Mm -hmm. The uh, first new leveling zone for 85 plus in the Mists of Pandaria World of Warcraft beta. Uh, so you're just kind of going to see me run around while I ramble a little about my first impressions of the beta. I, well, I just played for the first time today, so I don't have all that much experience in the beta, again. Um, I am currently on a pre-made priest, so they aren't terribly fancy, there is, oh, <laughs> hey, I have that on the life. Um, it's about 378 eye level, nothing terribly fancy. I do wish I had my real character, but since I'm boring the beta account, I do not. Anyway, so we're at the very bottom of the Jade Forest right now, and it's not terribly exciting over here, but we are gonna get to more exciting areas. So um, I haven't played that much so far, I have played around a little on my priest, you see I got three bars, <sighs> which is terribly exciting since um. Well, the beta is really crowded this time around. I was in the uh, Wrath beta and I was in the Kata beta and neither of them were this crowded. So I think that the, you know, the annual pass kind of thing must have really attracted a lot of people. Um, and the beta waves that are coming in are much larger than they used to be. So it makes questing pretty hard because they haven't adjusted um, the respawn rates of certain quests and some are terrible bottlenecks because you just <laughs> I I've only heard this hearsay so uh, you can only only one person can do the quest at a time and if somebody else interrupts it that person can never finish it so it's just a terrible bottleneck and I think they've been working out systems with you know designating orders of people to do the quest in but I haven't played around that far so um yeah, I only have three bars under my belt, and they weren't terribly exciting so far. You know, just the usual quest is, do this, do that, go here, collect this, etc. I haven't found anything fancy, but as I said, I'm only three bars in. Um, the current level of the beta is starting, you know, the, the level cap is 86 right now. There is um, one little tiny instance out and of course all the the monk stuff the panda stuff seems pretty fleshed out the starting area is fully functional from what I understand uh, except there's a few bottlenecks as well but I'm um, fully functional I have seen a few 85 monks so I guess the class is pretty functional all the way through and those people are just trying to punish themselves and um, yeah, um, as you can see, the Jade Forest here is the first zone that's playable. It is very pretty. Um, I'm gonna head into the temple right here, which I think is one of the highlights of this zone. Um, it's pretty well done. It's uh, very fancy, obviously very stylized. In fact, let me see. I hope this doesn't crash me. Alright, we got Ultra. Frame rates are a little worse, but... You're just gonna have to deal with it. Um, so this is the Temple of... Whatchamacallit? Temple of the Jade Serpent. Um, the instance is right up there. You can go in there. I guess I can do it real quick, but there is stuff right at the entrance and I won't venture in far. Um, some patrols and stuff. I haven't done the instance yet. I don't know if it's any good, if it's any fun. I'll do it within the next few days, so... You know, I'll update you on that, I suppose. Um, and here we are. Okay, the frame rates are just too bad. I'll switch it back down once we're out of here. Okay, there we go. Thank you. Take forever, why don't you? If I sound a little sick, it's because I've been talking like all day and I'm kind of hoarse. My throat hurts, but whatever. Okay, there is the stuff that has already aggroed me, so I'm gonna get the heck out of here. But yeah, that's the uh, that's the instance. Whew. 
Also because it's pre-made, I'm an undead. Um, I haven't seen the option to switch race yet. Uh, I'm not sure if they put it in, but hey, nothing wrong with undead, right? <laughs> They're pretty neat overall. Uh, I haven't set up any key bindings because I haven't done anything significant. As you can see, I'm a shadow priest, which um, I haven't been in. Oh gosh, I I run disc and holy for raiding, so I don't think I've had shadow spec enabled since I leveled to 85. <laughs> that is actually pretty sad. But all right, let's take the trip around here. The Temple of the Jade Serpent. Um, as you can see, very pretty, very well done in its theme. Anyway, um, so I'm Shadow. Uh, what you can see while I'm here and in shadow form is the updated UI. Uh, you can see up here I have three little bots under my portrait that tell me how many of my shadow orbs I have active. If I could find anything to kill I could show you that they light up, but that doesn't seem terribly safe so... I'm just gonna go around here and then cycle back, I suppose. Because this is all really pretty, and I was up here earlier taking screenshots, and I just thought it was really pretty. Um, as you can't, could see earlier, there was some duels going on with a Swifty. I don't know if it's the Swifty. Who knows? Uh, but there were duels going on, so people have already pecked this out as one of the best places in the zone, I suppose. Um, I don't think the other zones, the other new zones, are open yet, so... I this is all we get for now but it's pretty there is a lot of quest hubs and I think it takes you further than 86 but oh hello random person where are you ah hiding out okay so now we cycle back oh crap I'm so terrible at moving my mouse all right whatever uh, going back down, where was I gonna go? Oh, somewhere with things I can kill. Now, <laughs> alright, so keep in mind before I attack anything, I have not been Shadow since um, the start of Cataclysm, which means I have no idea about rotations. I have no idea at all about what I should be casting. So it's gonna look really funny and I'm probably still gonna do like Mind Flay, Mind Blast, two dots because that's what I've been doing well that's what I've been doing when I was Shadow in like BC alright so we're going this way I suppose oh there's the exit alrighty found my way. Now I haven't been to all the areas in this zone either. I haven't been to the windless isle or actually most of the uh, southern region. So I don't know if anything cool is over there. But let's go find something to kill. Yep, yep, yep. Nothing to kill yet. Well, those probably link, don't they? Ah, uh, maybe something singular to kill somewhere, anywhere. Please. Wait, wait, wait. Is that? Oh, perfect. All right. So, right. What was I doing? Dots. Dots are always good. So you can see I got two shadow orbs there, so I can send my shadowy apparitions onto it and stuff. But it's just, I guess, an easier way to track your orbs and whatever you're doing. So take it for what it is, I suppose. Oh my gosh. Do I really have to hit more buttons to kill this? Okay, nothing interesting there. Um, Alright, so that is pretty neat. Now, uh, specs look like this. You have 
When you select a spec, you see what you can get, which spells are exclusive to your spec. Um, so, you know, most of it is old, old news. Uh, Vampiric Embrace is a little different. And there is a Shadow Orbs. And Silence, etc. Well, just a little neat little overview. And your Talons look, as you probably know, have I? Oh, it's just every time I log out, it resets those, so that's pretty bad. Um, I don't think it's from crashing because I don't think I crashed last time I actually locked out, which means I do have to reset them every single time. Alright, so you got, you know, some of the old stuff. Buddy and Soul is there. Archangel. Uh, some are old talents revamped, like From Darkness Comes Light, to Search of Light, just slightly different and with a shadow aspect to it. And, um, you can pick one of those in each tier. So, the first tier is basically CC that you can pick. Second tier is sort of movement speed utility-ish. Third tier is coming soon. No, third tier is, um, just plain bonuses, really. Fourth tier is survivability. Void shift, I think, will probably be most helpful for uh, a healer in raids because you can switch your health with the tank so if he's really low you just go we shift and ideally you're at full health when you do that so you actually get some health uh, it's a percentage swap so if you have a hundred percent then ideally you should swap to a tank that has like 20 percent and then obviously you heal yourself up after but your tank is safe and the fifth tier is pretty nice I do still think this is uh, serendipity, the old one. Um, I do still think that power infusion is probably going to be the best one, but we'll see what happens. Um, anyway, so that is pretty neat. Glyphs are actually not. Oh, why did my glyph disappear? This is all. Ugh. Anyway, so glyphs are not terribly exciting anymore. I haven't really pegged out a really good glyph. Um, Shadow form, dispersion glyph, same thing I think. I haven't really kept up to date with my shadow glyphs and <laughs> mind blast. Uh, cause a target to be unable to move when you crit. And is that really it? I thought that was. Oh, uh, there we go. Mind spike. Nothing great there. For holy and. I haven't looked at disc actually. I think disc is still pretty good. We have it's a penance one. Gosh, this scrolled so slow. Penance reduces the mana cost but increases it. No, okay, it sucks. Okay, penance bad. Twenty percent of the absorb from your powered shield is converted into healing. Didn't we? We used to get the healing for free, so all of them got nerfed, basically. First charge of your prayer mending heals for an additional 60%, but your prayer mending has one fewer charge. That's acceptable, because they don't usually get used up anyway, and you put the first one on a tank, so it procs bigger. Okay, that one's not so bad. So what I have in is Circle of Healing. Renew. Which also isn't so bad, but I really do hope that uh, the next expansion does not turn into another renew spam fest because I really didn't like that. Um, what else? The minor ones are the same thing. They took out all the prime glyphs, obviously, and <laughs> nerfed them. So, same thing here. Holy. I'll play around with disc when I get a chance, but since this is a pre made. It's all kind of crappy, and I completely stopped dead in my tracks. <laughs> and as you can see, I'm already going to the temple again because I'm a tool and I like the temple, and apparently it automatically attracts me. So we'll just go back here. So, what I think about um, the priest cost so far, you know, I haven't played around with it enough to tell. I don't think there's any significant changes for Holy from what I've seen so far. I haven't, um, I haven't figured out how 
the new modifiers and all work and my gear is pretty crappy so I'm not expecting too much right now I'll probably heal an instance uh, when I get the chance in the next few days see how that goes hopefully ideally pretty well and um, let me change to holy here real quick since why not There we go. I don't have a mount in here. I don't think you can fly to level 90, so that's a while off. <laughs> Especially since the level cap is not going to be 90 for, oh crap, for a long time. Oh, I knew something would. Meanies. Um, probably not the right way anyway. I kind of want to go to the middle, so I'm just going to cut through the forest here. Um, not much else to say. I mean, there are monks. Obviously, the monks seem decent. Not necessarily a class that I'm terribly interested in, but um, I'll check it out. My monk is currently level 3, and I'm very proud of it because I got through the bottleneck. There were a billion people trying to click a silly little scroll to burn it, and... Well, okay, so earlier Lost Isles went down, so I went to play on Gilneas for a little, just because, but every other person on the planet had the same idea, so the monk starting area was crowded, even more so than usual, and there's this one quest where you burn a scroll, but everybody stands on the scroll, so if you have like 50, 60, maybe probably more people standing on a scroll, it's hard to click it, and what people do is spam a really strange macro. I have no idea if it actually works or not, but they spam it anyway, trying to, you know, do their quest. <laughs> and so you just kind of almost lag out from everybody spamming that crap. But I got it clicked actually pretty quickly. And I got the heck out of there and level two, level three. Totally proud of it because I only played for, uh, I don't know, not long. I haven't played for long at all. But, what do I think about the pandas? Well, honestly, at first I thought it was gonna be a joke and there weren't gonna be any pandas, but then there were. So I'm coming to terms with it. I'm not terribly excited about the class or the race. I'm gonna stick with well, like, which is not pandas and probably not mongs, but I mean, doesn't hurt to have an alt, does it? Uh, we're gonna go up here real quick because I thought there was something cool up here. Oh yes, there is. There is a huge bridge that goes over the little forest that we just went through. So, um, anyway, you see this is a large zone and you can just run through it forever and since you can't fly, it really quite sucks because you actually do take forever to run through it. Um, okay. So yeah, I'm not terribly excited about the new stuff, but hoping that the raids and uh, the class changes and stuff are going to keep it interesting for a while longer. I do hope that it doesn't keep going in the same direction. Um, as you know, I didn't do any progression on the last tier, but I did it afterwards. Yeah, I, I leeched. But I did all of... Um, the hard modes now, so I'm 8 8 leeching off my guild. And I just thought the instance was really lackluster. There was nothing at all interesting about it. And I mean, even Firelands was somewhat more interesting than Stupid Dragon Soul. I didn't think there was one redeeming fight or detail about it. So I really do hope they do a good job with this next tier and expansion. They do have a pretty nicely um, customizable theme going for them here. I mean, the whole Eastern Asian theme gives them lots of room to do stuff that they haven't before. So I do really hope that um, they do a good job with the raid design. And I mean, what was the first tier in Cataclysm? Oh gosh, I cannot even remember. But you know what? Let me let me rate finder this. Where is it? Dungeon journal, whatever, same thing. 
Raids. No, we want. Can I close them? It was. Bastion of Twilight, Blackwing Descent. Yes, yeah, see, I thought those weren't terribly badly done or anything. I really thought that, for instance, um, the Nefarian and the Sinestra fights were pretty well done and they were actually challenging. And, I mean, it wasn't Uldor, but it was pretty well done and I liked them. But it's just kind of gone downhill from then and that makes me sad. So anyway, just rambling, I do hope that it's gonna be better. This expansion is all I was trying to say there. Um, anyway, I think that's about all was for my first impressions of the Mists of Pandaria beta. I do hope that uh, they fix the bottlenecks pretty quickly so you can actually level and obviously I have high hopes for the instances and the raids once they actually come into testing phase which will probably still be oh I was already here with night which will probably still be a while cuz um as I said level cap 86 one instance out right now but I might go pretty quickly who knows um I will let you know what I think about priest healing priest once I play a little more with disc and do some of the instances that hopefully gonna come out pretty soon and that is really all I can think of and I am terribly oh 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 exit how did I miss it like four times that I went past here gosh I suck <laughs> all right well that's all so um hopefully I'll see you guys soon or hear you guys soon I guess so uh yeah have a great week thing something bye